Welcome back to the range here with your sports panel and our NFL games for this coming week. We're going to start it off with our game of the week, the Dallas Cowboys in December versus the undefeated New Orleans Saints. JB, be objective. All right. Uh, Dallas, once again, <laughs> failed miserably to step up to the plate and actually win a game in December. I know they're my boys, but they're going against a team from New Orleans that is still red hot. I mean, they perhaps didn't have the greatest game against the Atlanta Falcons, but they still won. That's why they're still undefeated. But the, uh, with the Marcus Ward possibly not playing in this game, uh, the defense is going to be perhaps like destroyed. So I'm going to go with New Orleans, believe it or not. I believe it. <laughs> Doug, what do you think? The uh, Demarcus Ware, they're going to struggle against the pass. I like the Saints. They better lose. Cleveland. Well, I think the D in Dallas also stands for defeats in December, so it keeps going. I appreciate I appreciate it. Chris. <laughs> do I really have to pick on this? <laughs> <laughs> do I really? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. It's going to be a tough one. You can I, I feel that Dallas will lose. Now <laughs> New Orleans from the panel. You picked it right All right. Up next, the Green Bay Packers at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cleveland. Well, Green Bay is probably the hottest team in the league right now. I mean, they just refuse to lose, which is how it's supposed to be, you know, these days. I mean, you know, Aaron Rodgers doing really well. Now, you know, his offensive line is a lot better than, you know, in these past five games. And, of course, it was in the first five games. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Pittsburgh uh, coming off the back-to-back -back losses to the Raiders and to the Cleveland Browns. You know. So, I mean, that's, I mean, that just spells disaster. I mean, <laughs> Hines Ward is still not over that hamstring injury. Uh, I haven't really seen Ben Roethlisberger come back from the concussion. So, I got to go with Green Bay. Chris. Just call me a cheesehead. <laughs> just call me a cheesehead. Sorry to the Chicago Bear fans, but call me a cheesehead. Mm. JB, <laughs> I don't care, but uh, I'll go with the uh, <laughs> Green Bay. Doug. All right, with the Steelers' offensive line problems and lack of a secondary for the most part, I like the Packers. All right. Up next is another wild card game, the Cincinnati Bengals at the San Diego Superchargers. Doug. All right, the Chargers have ripped off eight in a row. They are 31st in the rush, but they are fourth with the pass. Uh, it's two teams that are polar opposites. The Bengals like to run the football and are struggling throwing it right now, which is kind of hard to believe with all the weapons they have at wide receiver and at quarterback. Uh, it's going to be a battle of wills. Uh, Bengals are much more physical on defense, um, but uh, I'm going to have to go with the Chargers. They remain hot, and they are at home, and they are unbelievable in December. They haven't lost since 05, which was when they had Drew Brees. So I'm going with the Chargers. Cleveland. Uh, Phillip Rivers undefeated in, in December. Got to continue it this week. I hate to say it. I hate the Chargers. But they got to win. <laughs> you just hate Darren Sproul because he's on your fantasy team, but it's okay. Yeah, I hate them all. Traders. Hey, Phillip Rivers. I hate them. I hate LT. Which I hate Antonio ball? Gates. Pass the ball, Kobe. I hate Chris James. I hate them all. <laughs> So what about Darren Sproles? I hate him too. He does on my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> Are you back to do anything in the game? He's just in your fantasy. Oh, team. Oh, team. Fantasy team. Fantasy team. Fantasy team. You never know. Another topic for another. Another topic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trip yourself a lot. Well, no. um, AFC West is my division, of course, but um, San Diego. They're trying to lock up their division title, so I see San Diego winning it. JB. San Diego, pretty much in the pad of blues, because I'm pretty much, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just pretty much, huh? Pretty much. All right, and now for our upset special. 15 points goes to the man or men who pick the Oakland Raiders to beat the Denver Broncos. Chris, be objective. I ain't going to be objective. <laughs> sure not. I'm being in Oakland. We are coming off a loss to the Redskins, which both of us are trying to salvage our seasons anyway, and trying to, you know, just trying to be competitive. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do with the season we're having. Um, Jamarcus Russell played last game. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know why. <laughs> really. Um, Denver, they're coming off a loss in the drum. Um, they're trying. They're fighting for that wild card. They might get it, especially the way the AFC pitcher's looking. So, Denver, they will be at home. They can't run the ball, but they can pass it. Brandon Marshall, 21 catches, 200 yards, two TDs. Give me 39 points on my fantasy on Facebook. But, of course, me, I'm the only man. I'm going for the underdog. I'm going for the Raiders. JV. The Raiders? Man, whatever, man. Jamarcus Russell playing, that's that's just an accident waiting to happen. And lo and behold, y'all got blown out by the Redskins at home. So, I'm going with Denver. This shouldn't even be close. How dare you say this a game? Doug. Broncos will be able to run the football against that lackluster uh, front seven of the uh, Raiders. Not to mention, you know, they only have one good player in the secondary. So I'm going with the uh, Broncos. Yeah, also told you. Cleveland. <laughs> well, I mean, the Oakland Raiders have a lot of quality wins this year. I, I did say I'll give them a lot of uh, credit. Uh, you know, they beat Philadelphia. They beat Pittsburgh. They beat Cincinnati. I mean, what more can you ask for, So, I mean, why not defeat a guy named, you know, with Kyle Lord on the team, so uh, even with Jamarcus Russell, who will likely get the start this week, we'll probably, I'll go with the Raiders. So Chris, you have at least one supporter on the panel for this week. I think we can uh, do it. Up next, <laughs> we will have a basketball discussion. Stay tuned for the range. Uh, we're back to the range. Uh, we're going to go into some basketball talk here and talk about NBA first. Uh, the Knicks signed a big fella. They need some backcourt or backcourt front court depth, I guess. I get, uh, they've won four in a row. I guess that helps. Uh, he was with Donnie Walsh when he was in Indiana, so that's why he reached out to him. Uh, let's see, 76ers are still struggling, they've lost 12 in a row, and the Celtics are still playing well, they've won 10 in a row. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to the Nets for winning their second game against a now struggling Bulls team. Um, Atlanta's looking real good right now, Atlanta's looking real good. Um, the Thunder beat, not the, not, excuse me, not the Thunder, the Jazz, they pulled out a close game against the Magic, which they shouldn't have won. And they beat the Lakers, too. And they beat the yeah. Lakers. Actually, um, they the ass. Spurs, yeah. Spurs looking mediocre. Dallas looking mediocre. Um, Portland's looking pretty good right now. Um, this, 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 this is a good season so far. Phoenix, they lost. Um, Cavs, they're struggling. Shaq got his eye poked out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nobody it's, touches the it's, it's, a, it's a good season so far. I mean, there's, not, there's really not a lot of, there's not a, a real big front runner. I guess you could say besides the Lakers in Boston, there's really not a front runner or anybody that's competing with them. So it's, it's still wide open. I really have a feeling I'm picking the Lakers and the Boston Celtics not to be in the NBA Finals. So I'm still sticking with them. I'm still picking my Spurs and the Magic. So that's what it is. Rajon Rondo has been in the news recently for his um, great play, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I think. Actually dunked at a basketball, Ooh. man. That was pretty awesome. That was a, was a slam dunk, right? That's what I mean. That was pretty awesome. Uh, also, talks this past week have been heating up with mm -hmm. uh, you know, LeBron James talking about heading over to Boston after this season's over instead of New York. So, I mean, imagine if that happens, you know. Him talking about, hey, with all this, we could be going to New York. All of a sudden saying, I'm going, I might be going to Boston after this year. So does that mean Paul Pierce is gone then? No, not actually. That's what Ray Allen's talking about leaving after this year. Ray Allen's a free agent after this year, so you never know. Well, Paul Pierce is also, but, I mean, he, Pierce he could. Gonna, I think Pierce will resign with them because, I mean, that's the only team he's played for. Yeah. Matter, of fact, all, matter of fact, all three of them are for free agency, aren't they? Like Kevin not, Garnett? Not Kevin Garnett. Well, Kevin Garnett still has another year. Well, they could be just like a pub just to, just to build up for Boston and cause a distraction. Um, I don't think it's working because Boston is still dominating everybody who's playing with, like who's on the court with them. But as far as Shaq, like Shaq getting his eye poked out or whatever, it's still not going to help him shoot free throws any better. Uh, Cleveland, they'll find a way to fizzle out maybe in the semis or the conference finals, but I don't see them getting any close to the finals. 